Programming becomes more interesting when you get the input from user. And there are different ways to get the user input based on the type of application. Here we are talking about the console application and the best way to get the input on console application is that user has to type something on the console window and we will get that input in the program and we can work on that input. In this video we will learn what is the basic way to get the user's input in the C sharp console application. Let's get a new console application by using this Visual Studio. So I'm going to click on this one. Console application. Next. I need to create one more folder. 06. And inside this folder, you can update the name of your application. For example, the user input application. Let's click on this next button. From this drop down, we can choose the .NET Core framework. It is .NET 7.0 as of now. Click on this create button. We got the basic console application over here. If I run this application, you will see, we will get this output on the console window that is the hello world. This is good. We have covered this concept in the previous video. But now let's assume that I want to get this message from the user. Whatever user will enter, I want to display that message on the console window. How to do that? because the user will type the message on the console so there is a method in the console class that is the read line if we will use the read line method then the application will wait for the user input and whatever information user will enter this program will capture that information how to do that first of all console dot read line there is this particular method in the console class by using this method we will get the value now what will happen if you will run this application then at this particular line the program will expect a value but what we are doing with that value we have to store that value in a particular variable variable is a concept that we will learn in upcoming videos but here because we have a need to use a variable so we need to learn little bit information about them as of now you can understand variable is a type of storage and storage is a box and in that box we can put anything so for example if i'm typing where input that's the name of my box and if i'm using this equal sign it means i am putting this particular value inside this box where is a type so you can understand that this is a type of box and inside this box i'm just going to put this thing now what will happen whatever user will enter i will get that information over here and now i can use this particular box to transport this information because i have everything in this particular variable what can i do with this one i can simply use this input over here instead of using this hello world if i will use this input in this double quotes then it will get print as it is that we have seen in the previous video but if i will remove these quotes then i will get its value on the console screen let's say how it works so if i run this application by using this button so you will see this program is expecting a value. Let's say here I'm writing Nitis. And if I hit the enter button, you will see in the next line, we are getting the same message. If I will run this program again, remember I'm not making any change over here. And here I'm writing, this is my program. I can type anything over here, but when I will press the enter key, the execution will go on in the program. Let's hit the enter button and you will see we are getting the value over here again in the second line. Let's make it more interactive. Before getting the user input, I want to display a message to enter a message. So here I'm writing console dot write line. Hello user or hello there. Please enter a message. Or simply we can say what is your name like this now what will happen when we will run this program then first of all this line will get executed we will get this message on the console window then in the second line this program will wait for the user input once the user will enter the information and he will hit the enter key then we will get that value over here in this input variable and in the next line we are using this input to display it again on the console screen okay let's see how it will work now we are getting the message hello there what is your name my name is Nitesh Kaushik hit the enter button you will see again we are getting this same message 
now let's say i want to format this message also how i want to display your name is whatever name the user will enter for that particular concept here i have to use the dollar symbol and then these double quotes and here i can write your name is whatever fixed part is we can write it in the double quotes and whatever variable part is we have to use a curly bracket like this and in this curly bracket i can use that thing so this is the variable so how it will work now this part is fixed this will get print every time your name is i have entered any space over here and there is no space at the end i can format the message as per my need over here let's say i want to add a full stop as well okay now let's run this application again hello there what is your name here i'm writing nitish kausik hit the enter button you will see in the next line we are getting your name is nitish kausik and it is looking very better now now let's say i want to do the same thing again what is your college name okay we cannot define the same variable multiple times we have used this input over here we cannot use it again like this over here i can remove this where keyword and it will work how because this time i'm using the same box so what is happening in this box earlier i was putting the name now in the same box i'm removing the name and i'm just putting this college name and i can use it like this but if i'm saying that this is a new box i'm defining the type over here i cannot do that because i already have defined that i have a box with name input over here i can change the value multiple times in the program but i cannot define it two times or more than two times so the best way is either i can use this same variable like this or if i want to use a different one then i can use instead of using this input i can say see and just copy it and use it over here and here because i'm displaying the college name so i can update my message like like this this will work let's run this application hello there what is your name let's say here i'm writing nitis hit the enter button your name is nitis again it is saying hello there what is your college name it is let's say let's say it is iit hit the enter button you will see your college name is iit there is a spelling mistake like this now let's try it with the same box name so let's say i'm using this input here and the input here also and let's remove this where what is this where this where is also a great concept that we will learn in upcoming video but as of now just learn that if you are using the read line then you have to use where and you have to put any name over here you can use a b c d whatever you want to write but i want you to make a habit right from the beginning that you will define it meaningful i can write it like a but the a does not make any sense here we have to write a proper name to these particular variables so input is a proper name or if you want to make it more better then you can use user input over here we are using the same input variable and we are assigning this new value in this box let's run this application again so what is your name let's say it is a your name is a hello there what is your college name let's say it is bb your college name is bb this is how we can get the user input and we can display it on the screen Thank you.